Hello friends this one more video tutorial on how to use Bootstrap modal and web development. In this video we will use Bootstrap modal for upload multiple images on folder by using PHP script with Ajax query without refreshing of page. In this example we will make system for uploading one or more than one image to the specified path. Here we will use Bootstrap modal for selecting multiple images. On web page we will put simple button and when we have click on that button then after modal will pop up on web page and then modal we will put and put type file tag and from that tag we can select multiple images for upload. For uploading images to specified path we have used PHP script for uploading multiple images to specified path as backend by called by Ajax request. This is my simple index.php page and on this page we have used JavaScript library query and bootstrap library for using modal on this page. On this page first we have defined one button for pop-up modal, so here we have write button type is equal to button with attribute like data toggle is equal to modal, data target is equal to hashtag upload modal and in button text we have write upload images. Data toggle attribute is used for open particular modal and data target will point to the end of modal. Below this button we have defined one division tag with attribute it is equal to gallery. Under this division tag we will display uploaded images. Under our working folder there is one upload folder and in this folder we already have some images, so now we want to display that images on web page. So we have write dollar images variable is equal to glob function with argument like upload folder name slash star dot star. This function will find path names matching a pattern that means it will return all type of files array from upload folder and store into this images variable. Then after we have write for each loop with condition like dollar images as dollar image, by using for each loop we can fetch array of images variable one by one. Under this loop we have write echo statement with text like division tag with class is equal to call md1 and under this tag we have write image tag with source is equal to dollar image with attribute width is equal to 100 pixel and height is equal to 100 pixel. This will display all upload folder images on web page. Now we have moved to define modo. So for this first we have write division tag with attribute it is equal to upload modal and class is equal to modal and fade. Here modal class identifies the content of this division tag and fade class adds transition effect to bootstrap modal. Then after we have write other division tag with class attribute is equal to modal dialog, this class sets the proper width and margin of the modal. In this division tag we have write one more division tag between this tag with attribute class is equal to modal header. This class is used to define the style of the header of the modal. In this division tag we have defined one button for close bootstrap modal, so for this we have write button type is equal to button class is equal to clothes and data dismiss is equal to modal. With the help of this button we can close bootstrap modal by clicking on this button. For display bootstrap modal title, we have write heading for tag with class is equal to modal title with text insert employee details. This class display the title of the bootstrap modal. Now we have defined one more division tag with attribute class is equal to modal body. Here modal body class is used to define the style for the body of the modal. Under this modal body we have defined one HTML form with method is equal to poster and it is equal to upload form. We will upload image on form submit event under query code. Then after under this form we have defined one input type is equal to file with attribute name is equal to images array, it is equal to select image in multiple attribute. By using this attribute we can select more than files at the same time. 
Now we have moved to write jQuery code for submit form on change event on file tag. So we have write dollar select image which is file tagged with change event with function. When we have select image then at the time this code will execute and form will be submit. So for submit form we have write form it upload form on method and under this method we have write submit event and event function. When form submitted then this code will execute. Under this first we have write event.prevent default method, if this method is called, the default action of the event will not be triggered. Now we have moved to Ajax request. In this first parameter is URL in which we have write upload.php. Here we have send request to this URL. Second parameter is method of sending request in which we have write post method. Third is data in which we have to send form data like images. New form data means the transmitted data is in the same format that the form submit method would use to send the data if the form encoding type were set to multi-part form data. Fourth is content type, we have set false. When friends sending data to the server at the time use this content type. Fifth is process data, we have set false. And last is success, a function to be called if the request succeeds. This function will receive data from server which is stored under this function data argument. Under this function first we want to clear file element, so for this we have write dollar select image which is id a file element with val method with blank value. This code will clear file element. Then after we want to hide upload modal, so we have write dollar upload modal which is it of modal with modal method hide. And lastly we want to display uploaded images under division tag with gallery id. So we have write dollar gallery id with HTML method and under this method we have write data. This will display uploaded image under this gallery division tag. Now we have moved to write PHP code for upload multiple images, on this page first we have write dollar output variable is equal to blank. In this variable we will store upload folder images in HTML form. Then after we have write of statement with condition and in condition we have write is array function with argument like dollar files, this function will check dollar files is array or not. If it is array then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write for each loop with condition like dollar files images name variable as dollar name arrow dollar value. By using for each loop we can access the keys and values of dollar files images variable which is an array of selected file. Then after we have write dollar file name variable is equal to explode function with two argument. In first argument we have write string delimiter which is dot and in second argument we have write dollar files images variable. This function will split file name by dot string and create array and store into this dollar file name variable. After this we have write dollar allowed extension variable is equal to array and in array we have write allowed file extension. Then after we have write of statement with condition like an array function with two argument. First argument we have write which extension you want to search which we have store into this dollar file name first index and in second argument from where you want to search extension. Here we have write dollar allowed extension variable. This function will check if extension is fine from dollar allowed extension then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write new dollar new name variable is equal to ran function dot dollar file name index one variable. Here it will generate new image name and store into this dollar new name variable. Then after we have write dollar source path variable is equal to dollar files images temporary dollar name variable. Here we have defined source path of image from where we want to get images. 
mostly images are stored under temporary folder. After this we have write dollar target path variable is equal to upload folder name slash dollar new name variable. Here we have defined target folder name for upload image. Now we have write move uploaded file function with two argument. In first argument we want to define source of image which we have store under dollar source path variable and in second argument we want to define target path for upload. So here we have write dollar target path variable. This function will upload image into upload folder one by one. Now we want display uploaded image on web page. So for this we have write dollar images variable is equal to glob function and under this function we have write upload folder name slash star dot star. This function will return array of all type of files from upload folder. Then after we have write for each function with condition like dollar images variable as dollar image variable. By using for each loop we can access all images array on by one. Under this loop we have write dollar output variable with string concatenation operator equal to division tag with class is equal to column d1 and under this division tag we have write images tag with source is equal to dollar image variable with width is equal to 100 pixel and height is equal to 100 pixel. Under this variable we have store image in HTML format. Now we want to send this variable data to the front end, so we have write echo statement with dollar output variable. By writing this all images will be display on web page without page refresh. So friends our code is ready, so we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friend on web page you can see when upload images button and below button we can see the uploaded images. When we have click on upload images button then modal has been pop on web page and under modal you can see one file tag by using this file tag we can select one or more than one images. When we have select images then after all images has been uploaded under upload folder and then after we can see the uploaded image on web page without page refresh. For this things we have create one button and then after we have create modal. By clicking on button we can pop up modal on web page. From this modal we can select multiple file and when we have select file then at that time query code has been execute and form has been submitted. When form submitted after we have create ajax request and by using form data object we have sent selected file data with ajax request to the php script and by php script we have upload multiple images to the folder. After uploading image we have fetch all images from folder and then after we have display images on web page. So friends if you like this video tutorial on upload multiple image by using PHP Ajax query with bootstrap modo, please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video on social media also. Friends if you want to get more update of my video tutorial so you can subscribe my youtube channel. Friends you can also like my facebook page or you can also follow webslisten on twitter.